So we're here at the ID Tech X show and hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm from um, A-Star, um, Accelerate, the commercialization arm of um, A-Star. And I, today with me, I actually have uh, my Singapore ecosystem. So we have Asahi and we have KPP, both are our A-Star licensee. Uh, we have um, Syntech, which is the A-Star Research Institute, um, as well as uh, Kaha, our collaborator. So what is he doing over there? Uh, okay, here's my colleague. Rick from Syntech. Hi. So he's Hi. showcasing our new latest application in smart wearable. So now he's going to demonstrate. Um, There's a machine there. Uh, it's yes. a wearable. This is a module uh, that is uh, embedded into the smart apparel. And the smart apparel that I'm wearing is something similar to this, uh, where it has the smart electrodes and it captures my ECG, it captures my activities. It does also have a module like this to transmit the information to the phone. So uh, from there, it uh, captures my heart rate, my VO2 max, which is my fitness, my steps, as well as the calorie that I've burned today. Is this what it is? Yes, essentially, yeah? yes. Uh, this is one of the IoT end-to-end -end wearable platform that we are utilizing to showcase um, the software. So the data analytics is actually from this particular software platform. Um, it actually incorporates our technology, which is the printed electrodes. Uh, let me showcase uh, what the software analytics will actually show you through the app application. Maybe, Rick, do you want to do a... Uh, okay. So, so what, what, this one, what, what is this one, for example? What's going on here with this button? Uh, okay, so this is a thermal vest. So what it does is, there's actually three settings. Like, yeah. Oh, there's actually three settings. So there is a low, medium and high. So the temperature can go up from 35 degrees to 55 degrees on the higher setting. So if you can touch, we actually have printed heat, printed heater patch. So it's hot. Very, yes, it's not obvious. It's heating up. Right. We have it in the pockets, left and right, as well as the back. Yeah, it's actually made to be very light, transportable. Um, easily rollable on the luggage, so it's a fashionable mid-layer piece. So is this printed electronics? Yes. Yeah. This is what it does. So we print this in row to row. This is a uh, yeah. You can close we, to mic. Yeah. We incorporate the, we incorporate the, yeah. the electrodes into here. So you can see that this is in row to row and then it pass on to the apparel guys who can incorporate that into smart apparel and it catches all the vitals from your body and transmit it out through this Bluetooth module into the mobile apps. So what is this material? This is carbon-based electrodes. And, and it has it, good conductivity? Uh, it has uh, good conductivity. It can survive uh, more than 100 washes and it is easy to integrate. So we are providing modular concept where uh, it's an open platform where a lot of uh, smart apparel guys can come in to work with us to incorporate our electrodes into their apparel and we have an uh, entire ecosystem here to support them to create from design concept all the way to mass pro in the shortest time possible. So it's an ecosystem? Yes, it's an ecosystem. An like uh, several companies? Yes, we have a value chain partner with us. So uh, that's why today with us we have uh, uh, a supplier, Asahi. Hi. Yep. Hi. I'm so who Ray. are you? I'm Ray. Uh, I'm the, in the business development team for Singapore Asahi. So we are positioned as a material supplier for the, yeah. for the printed hybrid electronics space. Specifically, we provide a range of inks, for example, our silver nano wires. So this is for the fabrication of transparent electrodes. So for example, applications such as printed heaters, uh, printed touch screens, um, printed lights, which you can see in the front. Yep. So this is using your material? Yes, using two of our materials. Is this also. OLED light or no? No, what is this? it's printed lights. Printed light? Printed lights. So we have a few layers of materials in, in there. And next we have our copper range of copper inks. This is our Blink. copper complex ink. This is our copper complex ink. Uh, and this is purely chemical based. There are no solid particles in this ink. So what you can, how you can apply it, you can inkjet, inkjet it, you can screen print it. And to do this kind of stuff? Yeah, so here is an example of what yeah. it can do. Yeah. So these are tracers which have been inkjetted onto a substrate and then de after going through decomposition, you form these copper tracers. Nice. And what you can do with this? Oh, you can form traces such as these. This is just a very simple demonstrator of uh, a circuitry with, you know, with LED lights on them. So it is, it is to serve as a drop-in replacement for, for the incumbent technology, which is the silver paste. It's a cheap, way cheaper alternative. And companies like RFID, 
firms are highly interested in this kind of material. What is this? Oh, this is, uh, an, again, a printed circuitry with our silver paste. And Just you have a good simple. paste? Yes, we do. Is the best in the market or what? Oh, definitely. Definitely? Yes. All right. Uh, and uh, how's it been, the IDTech Tech Show for you? It's been great. So we get to see how the industry is developing, what trend it's moving into, for example, wearables, uh, sensors, what kind of application methods uh, they are going into. And of course, to check on your comp competitors, what they're up to, yeah. Yeah, they're also doing stuff, right? Yes, of course they are, yeah. Yeah, but you're also working very fast. Yes, we are actually. Working with universities, uh, be it local or overseas. And where yeah. is local? Is local Singapore? In, Sing in Singapore, yeah. So for example, uh, working with NUS, NTU, and of course our partner, Simtech. Is this some of the best universities in the world? or? Oh, definitely, yes. Definitely. Yes. Some uh, good students coming out of that, right? Oh, yes. Good students, good professors, yep. All right. Cool, thanks. Thank you. And uh, who are you? Yeah, my name is Melvin. I'm from KPB Packaging. Uh, we are a printing and packaging company that we do uh, printing in the printer electronics yeah. arena. Things like um, this uh, heat transferable yeah. material, uh, TPU. So what we do is that, uh, you know, using the, the conductive and uh, functional inks and print them out and transfer into the fabric. Yeah. And then others like, um, you know, like uh, this is one, this? this is using the EL, okay. so on very uh, specific that uh, using an EL panel and then we, um, you know, print and then to, to uh, enable to light up certain areas so that the product showcase what uh, it wants the direct uh, uh, consumers to know what, what is it all about. Uh, another example like this uh, for advertisement. Yeah. So this is like the Magnum uh, ice cream that lights up. Yes, uh, it's uh, it's more to uh, you know interact with the consumers uh, to draw their attention and bring them what they want. How does it it's work? It's more for branding. It works with an EL panel, and then to, um, you you have a, a inverter, and then to power up, and then to, it comes with a sequence, the, the animation sequence, and how the probably the clients want them to light up to be. All right, mm. cool. And uh, what, what else do you have around here? Well, no. that yeah, one. Uh, Hi. 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 Who are you? Hi, I'm uh, Locke here from uh, Simtech. Simtech. So, what does Simtech do? We do uh, manufacturing technology, especially here. We are doing row-to-row -row manufacturing. If you look at this uh, like yeah. film, so Come this close. is yeah. this is a film that we are manufacturing in row-to-row -row and multi-layer, and we can do as wide as uh, one meter and uh, up to ten meter long. We have uh, deployed this onto a double deck bus in Singapore. Wow, so then the, it lights up with the ads? Yes, like, just like this. Wow. So for this, we do a, a printing on the touch sensor that it can the thermal form into the shape and integrate into like an infotainment panel of the automotive. So this is a um, molded electronics, or what's it called? Yeah, it's an Inmo electronics. In mold. Yes, yeah, so you are right. Yeah. 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 You do a lot of that? Uh, we are working with several companies on that. All right. So. That would be a typical uh, flexible hybrid electronic that we integrate yeah. the uh, touch function. Yeah, can, yeah, can you hold it up? Yeah. So uh, what's special about this? So we uh, print the touch function and uh, integrate with the hybrid electronics into it to generate the different functions. So that is a very simple demonstrator that we're working nice. on. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. So that's a lot of stuff uh, uh, around here, the booth, right? Yeah, they come together as a Singapore platform. All right. So, uh, so how, how's it been the uh, the the ID Tech X show for you? How's it been? Hi. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it has been very insightful. So we are able to see what people are doing, and then be able to validate our technology, our value proposition, and we are able to see, find new collaborators in this event. So, uh, for example, uh, hi. So, who hey. are you? Hi, my name is Pavan Gandhi. I am uh, the CEO founder of Kaha. Uh, it's a Singapore company. As my colleagues have already informed you. Um, what we've done is we've created an end-to-end -end smart wearables platform. Essentially what that means is that uh, we've got in-house capability for the entire value chain for smart wearables, right from the hardware electronics to the application framework to cloud, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and so on. Essentially, uh, we become a one-stop shop for any company that wants to, to transition from a traditional variables into the smart category. So what you see here is a range of products that we have created. Yeah, so like uh, you, you work on these? 
these are all created by us. Yeah, so they're expensive include, smart watches. These are all, you know, look at the watch that I'm wearing yeah. and, and a category of these watches. This one would look like an analog watch, but it is nothing but analog. It's a complete smart watch. Uh, it's driven by the software and the intelligence that has been built into yeah. it by the software people. Yeah. So let me show it to you. Um, you know, when I landed into San Francisco yeah. from Singapore, the moment the phone was touching down, the watch automatically ended up setting the local time. But it also knows that I've come from Singapore and time and again I want to know at what time my folks are. So when I press this button twice, this is what the local time in Singapore is. It is nice. right now 9 a.m. So it's dual time. It's got dual time. It's also got NFC based payment. So if I go to a Starbucks, I just need to tap and buy my coffee. It also picks up my heart rate. So it is telling me my stress levels and oh. how to manage it during the conference. Off? So, sure, so, so let me show you this one. So it has a heart rate sensor right there. There you go. It's got a heart rate sensor. And there's a smart algorithm sitting behind it, which is powered by artificial intelligence. Um, and it shows something like this. So what you're seeing is my uh, heart rate, yeah. uh, my min max. Yeah. Uh, this is getting picked up by the watch that I'm wearing. Nice. Okay. And uh, I can even take this to the next level of plotting my ECG. Now, essentially what that means is once you have data like this, uh, you can write a lot of deep machine learning algorithms uh, which can detect issues like fatigue, recovering from fatigue, uh, stress level and more importantly there is the algorithm can even go uh, go around to detect certain ailments like heart conditions that might be getting ignored. And you have different designs? These are all different designs. What's the brand? Yeah, so the, the, the important thing is that we are a technology platform, so we provide our technology to brands. So today we have uh, leading more than 20 brands around the world, which have footprint in Europe, Asia, and the US, um, who license the technology from us. Nice. So uh, how's it been, the ID Tech X show? For you? Uh, the show has been pretty revealing to us. Uh, you're trying to... No, no, it's okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. So the show has been quite interesting for us. Um, uh, we've met some very, very cool uh, set of uh, people from the US. We are now working closely with Enterprise Singapore, which is a business arm from the government of Singapore, to help us network with some of these opportunities within the US. So uh, it's been a great show? Yes, right. So do remember us, we are from Singapore. Do come to talk to Accelerate and Simtech if you have exciting um, variable application to develop, co-develop with us. Thank you. So Singapore is doing a lot of cool tech, Yes. cool technology, uh, uh, like uh, world leading technology stuff. Have an hour more and go and come back. It's a question, yeah? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Of, course. Yeah. of course. Of course. Yeah. Singapore being the smart nation, we will be the ideal place to test bake your technology, the ideal place to um, validate our value proposition and use this as a stage to leapfrog to the international stage. Cool. Thank you.